And the maybe last book for today. The Marvel Art of the Brothers Hildebrand from 2021. Written by Greg Hildebrand and Glenn Herdman. Beautiful hardcover. Awesome shit. I actually know their art style because they've worked on Star Wars as well. So, <clears throat> it's from Marvel and IDW. Top on your TV to check this shit out. There's the brothers. Lots of spreads in this book. Lots of spreads, like no joke. And this also includes their celebrated comic, X Men 2099 Oasis. So, yeah, check that out too. The green Publishing, Medusa. So yeah, this is fun. They they do the same modeling that um Tony Dice or Lizzie does with his stuff. By using actual models versus uh, uh, wooden marionettes and whatnot. Uh, so this covers our whole career of what they've done: sketches, sketch cards, all that good shit, and it's amazing. say I was very impressed by this so you get the final sketch well the final product the sketch the models themselves and the sketches how it built up and everything it's beautiful oh this is 284 pages by the way Forgot to mention that. Do I own any of their cards? No, I actually don't. Have I ever seen their cards? I think I have actually, but I don't remember. And I do actually have a favorite in this book. Which is pretty surprising because I mean I love their art, like their style is really good. I was just surprised by um who they did that I actually liked. Yeah, but their identic memory together is just poof amazing. I wish they would do a film with their work, like, oh, it was so beautiful. But today's youth wouldn't appreciate it. This is garbage. <laughs> they, would, they would complain so fucking much. Uh. Do I like Marvel art? Yeah, I really do. I love Marvel art. It's really good, but I'm not hardcore Marvel, though. That's the thing. I'm just, you know, I'm casual about it. That's a good Magneto. Magneto is my boy. But I actually don't like that version of him. No. I don't, and that's weird, but I don't like it. If you're wondering why the pages are blowing, I got my fan on, because, yeah, yeah, it's a hot one today. Nebula, Night Thrasher, Night Crawler. I do like the, I love the trifecta. I like the white sketch, the pencil sketch, 
and then the final product. Like that combination and the poster is awesome. But then you get the quad effect with the model as well, which is cool. And of course, all these break down how they came to be and everything else. Yeah, this is a heavy book. Would I want to own this book? Maybe. It's very tempting, especially for the comic. Like, I really like that comic. That was some cool shit. $20.99. Thunderstrike. Yeah. Ah, there's my favorite character, Vengeance. Yep, Vengeance is my favorite. And like all the text is their interview throughout the whole book, so that's even more fun to check out. But I'm here for the art, so, yeah. So if you enjoy the Brothers Hildebrand, if you have any of their cards, that's pretty cool. If you don't, you should try to get some of their cards. Or if you don't want to get their cards and you just want to get this book, go for getting the book. It's, it'll be the same deal. That's a good one on Magneto. I like that too. That's a good spread. Adam Kubert. And we're in the 150s now. Awesome. So we're nearly done. <laughs> This is what I like about art dump books. Like, it's just straight up art, no fucking around. She looks cool. Fucker. I like her design. That's a good one. Never realize how many Marvel characters there are until you see somebody put out a Marvel art book. And it's like, wow, there's a lot of fucking characters. <laughs> JJ. Bloody Mary looks dope. Yeah, their their art style stands out really well. I wonder if they ever did any DC work or other companies. That'd be really cool to see. Did I have a lot of fun going through this when I looked at it? Oh, definitely. I had a great time going through this. Would you have a good time going through this? Possibly. Never really know, honestly, until you check it out. 
Yeah. Would I want to see any of their work adapted into a actual film? Like, that'd be cool as shit. I like this beach scene. This was cool as hell. Especially how they had it paired up. It just turned out so good. And that's beautiful. Like, their whole... All their mediums and their atmospheres and dynamics, just, well, they mesh so well and come out so beautifully. And it's so striking and vivid. <laughs> All right, the comic. This is twenty ninety nine Oasis. That's pretty cool shit. Cause when it, this is why it's in here. Yep. I enjoyed this comic. This was cool as shit. <laughs> This could be adapted into a film, but eh, I don't know. They would butcher it. They really would just butcher the shit out of it, and it would be so sad. But the fact that they painted all this, hand painted all this shit, goes to show how much dedication they have to their craft. So, I don't know, I might buy this book just for the comic. <laughs> Maybe you could just buy the comic by itself. Man, fuck that. Could, but I don't know. I kind of like their art, too. So... Look at that lip bite. That's impressive. That's very impressive. And this is from 96. That's really fucking amazing. That 26 years later, it's that good. And still holds up. Like, that's fucking impressive. Yeah, something like this. They could do it animated and keep the style, which would be absolutely stunning. But, I don't know. If they were involved with it and kept the whole thing, that would be cool. That would be worth the fucking watch. But, honestly, rather have it as a damn comic and just leave it the way it is. Fuck, ad fuck adaptation. Yeah, I love this book. So if you don't like Marvel, you don't like these brothers, well, this is not a book for you. Sad to say. But if it is, you should pick this up for sure. If you love art styles, definitely grab this up. If not, that's cool too. That was the comic. That was the art. Treasure Island. Oh, he's like, I'm gonna cut this kid's fucking part. It's like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, they did this stuff, but there's older stuff they've done as well. Like they did um, Dash Rendar's Outrider for Shadows of the Empire. That was pretty cool. 
I don't know why they didn't include that in this, but oh well. Old Man Logan. Hmm. Oh, what else was there? I don't know, I'm just, I'm blown away by their color palettes. Like, they really know how to mesmerize with a palette. And I enjoy that thoroughly. This is another good cover I like a lot. Shame she got misused, but oh well. <sighs> and then that little thing for Malkath. <laughs> but it's all blue, so oh well. Closing statements. More closing statements and a sketchbox. So you can take this with you to a con. And or a show, and he'll do a sketch for you. One of them will. So, that was the Marvel Art of Lillard Silverbrand. Pretty cool book. Badass. So, I will be back later on. So, until next time, like and subscribe for Thoughts and Prayers.